going on guys it's your boy snook 404 back at it again with another video for you guys in this video you guys can see me playing ghost recon wildlands which is a game that i highly been enjoying since the release came out about a week ago in this video here guys i'm here to more to talk about you know if you're on the fence about whether you should buy this game or not or if you're waiting to get paid and it's crossing your mind definitely looking for something else to play this video is pretty much for you guys now just to give you a little more insight on the game this one is like the 10th installment in um, Ghost Recon franchise. It's the first one that's actually like an open world environment so you don't go, you know, mission and mission and things. And it kind of moves away from like, I guess the direction they was actually headed. Cause uh, if you remember, I think the last one was like um, Ghost Recon, like Future Soldier or something like that. Well, it was giving you more like future technology and things like that. But this one kind of stays more in like the modern day. And definitely is something that's highly enjoyable. So it's a third person shooter in which you're actually in Bolivia trying to stop the drug cartels. And it's kind of like you're working your way from the outside in, you know, picking the team off little by little and things like that to bring down the whole empire till you get to the main guy, El Sueño or whatever. So this game is just more, you know, more enjoyable, guys. Um, just to start on topic, uh, talking about the weapons it seems like there are a massive amount of weapons everything from snipers to assault rifles to submachine guns pistols you have um your grenades your c4 your mines and everything and it's totally mind-blowing decim definitely the customization that you actually can have from everything from the attachments on your gun your extended mags and thing but that is something that you see in most games and things but Apparently this one is kind of a little bit different because like I said in the beginning it's actually an open world game in which you're pretty much free to do missions how you want. You're definitely free to kind of travel around how you want. You got all different kind of vehicles, everything from you have your boats, your planes, your helicopters, different type of cars from trucks, you know, to Lamborghinis. I think I've seen a Charger in there, um, a Challenger and things like that, which I would think was definitely pretty cool to see. Now, of course, with the perks of the game, um, like I said, it's open world. You can either play the game solo with the AI, and the AI is pretty cool. They um, they follow you around. They do what needs to be done. You know, when firefights come, you know, they'll definitely help you shoot out. And I think you only have, like, a one-time revival thing. I don't know if it's just the level that I'm playing on, or if you go down, your um, teammates, your, the AI can actually revive you once, and if you go down again, then it's mission over. Or you can take the other route, which I did, was um, play with my other good friend, Genius Rain, and sometimes Paul, or even the Batgirl. And we'll just go do different missions. Now, one thing I do have to put in for you when you actually do play multiplayer, if you only have one friend in at a time, you know, like just if, for example, if um, Genius joined my game, it will only be us two in a game. The other characters wouldn't be AI or anything, so it'd just be you two guys definitely taking on missions and things. Which isn't a bad thing, but definitely as you move up the ladder, going for more like enemies in the game, they do get a lot harder. And I recommend, guys, this is one of those games that you actually have to kind of plan out. You can't just really go in there, you know, guns blazing. Or if you want to, you can. I'm not sh exactly sure how to go down for you, but when I actually tried that in the beginning game, it didn't go so well for me. So I would definitely recommend using like all your you know gadgets and everything everything from the drone or if you got to stop a convoy use your minds and things like that definitely something they give you the utensils to help you out now one thing that is missing in the game i don't know if it's just missing or if it's something i just haven't come by or anything yet um i was kind of hoping for like a rocket launcher or something because it is time when you do have to fight off helicopters and things and um definitely definitely something hard that's um to take down with your guns you do have like your little rpg elements that help you to level up how fast things you do from everything from reviving um to the ai support the rebel support and everyone around you actually may be trying to help you but all in all guys i do highly recommend this game if you definitely look for something fun to play or if you want to play something with your friends or even you just want to play online just to meet other people this is definitely a game that I would recommend. I'm uh I've been playing this game like I said since it came out and um I think I only killed like 
three bosses. I'm not exactly sure how many bosses are in the game, but it definitely seems like a lot. And you have to gather intel. You have to um, kidnap certain people to get more information from them and um, destroy, like, the franchise and everything. And I'm like, you know, this is this is pretty cool all in all. Just to take a step out that box, because um, I don't know about you guys, but everything from the Call of Duty and everything, I'm kind of glad that this game brings it back to boots on the ground rather than, you know, all the jet boosts and all this other kind of stuff that makes you, like, a superistic future soldier or whatever. I'm glad that I have yet to see... Um, fighting any kind of robots or anything in this game but all in all guys like i said if i had to give this game a rating out of 10 i would definitely give it like a nine because even though you know the gameplay is good everything seems pretty good it has been times where i do have issue with the multiplayer for some reason um a couple of my friends can join or even sometimes when actually riding around in the vehicles you would kind of see like the glitch if you watch my other video of like you running alongside the car or on top of the helicopter and things but all in all guys definitely hope you enjoyed this video like i said if this is a game that you're thinking about picking up i highly recommend that you go pick it up it will be worth the money or and, um if you want to also grab that season pass that'd be great too but all in all guys thanks for watching this video and i'll catch you guys next time